I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. Well, you you see the red lights? I did. I then slow down. I did. Slow You're free down. to go. You know what? You just busted my car. I did, cause you almost ran me over. You're free to go. So your husband lied to me. He said he was wearing a seatbelt. He wasn't. So he's gonna be receiving a citation for that. Welcome back to San Joaquin Audits, everybody. Today's video comes to you from the channel Small Town Audit 48. Be sure to go subscribe to their channel for further updates as they come out. Today's video takes us to Torrance County, New Mexico, where on October 17th of this year, Sheriff Deputy Chad Whitson responded to a hit and run call. As he arrived on scene, it appears he doesn't even have his seatbelt on, and we'll get to why that's important soon. But what transpires in this video is yet another reason why in this day and age, people feel like they can no longer trust their local police agencies, and some people have stopped calling them for emergencies altogether. This video is only further proof as to why that is. So without further ado, let's start watching this police interaction, but remember, at the end of the video, be sure to go subscribe to Small Town Audit 48 and let them know that San Joaquin Audit sent you over. Let's check it out. Were you involved? No. No? The guy... The what? I don't know what happened. Okay. You okay? It's my husband. Oh, okay. So. Oh, shoot. Okay. Hey, Just give me your necklace. Okay. Oh, wait. No, 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 no don't. 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 Leave the necklace on. How you feeling, man? Your watch. Okay. okay. Ambulance just pulled up. Does he need his watch off? Just, it's fine, Jerry. Is it that kind that's smiling? Were you in the car? No. Where's the Where's the car that hit him? Took off back to Mountain Nursery, I said. Who was it? It was a gray truck, she said. A gray older truck. Okay. So at this point in the interaction, Deputy Whitson is taking pictures of the scene of the accident and he's going to keep moving further and further in the road to get a wider angle of the picture. Watch what he does to oncoming vehicles as he's standing in the middle of the road in a black outfit. New Mexico 28 of Adam Tom X-Ray Lincoln 3-2. It's going to be on a red Chevy Camaro, heavy front end damage. The other vehicle fled the scene. Those are all tires inflated. 10 You may be wondering to yourself, did I just see that right? And yes, you did. This deputy just smashed that truck's side mirror for reasons that I honestly could not tell you. And this isn't the only vehicle mirror that he smashes. Now you may be wondering to yourself, did this deputy face any discipline for smashing these mirrors? And he still hasn't. But let's keep watching. I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. Well, you you see the red lights? I did. I then slow down. I did. Slow You're free down. to go. You know what? You just busted my car. I did, cause you almost ran me over. You're free to go. How do I get it to you? Um, do you need batters? <coughs> <coughs> yeah, you just switched to us. I need the... New document? But it freaking stuck in my background. Well, 
why you have his vehicle stuck in the backyard. <laughs> You should know the truck is stuck, the tires halfway in my backyard. It's wonderful rain. How many freaking cars do you have? <laughs> Sheesh. It's cold out today. Mark! Mark, listen! Thomas! Leave that up for right now. I mean, you can, can put it up. Can it and send it to you? Yeah, if you can. Uh, <coughs> oh, come on. Send the car! No. So, I've got a tow company coming. Um, I'll let you know. I mean, if you need to go, if you want to wait for it, you can. But, um, I'll let you know. It's probably going to be Morarty. It's probably going to be um, Tavner's. Tavner's? More than likely. Tavners, if they can get Coburn's to answer, maybe Coburn's. Uh, we don't have any companies here in Mountain Air, I'd right, send somebody closer, but. Then it has to be towed off. I wonder if Bonnie would do it. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, Bonnie, you can get off and get towed off. So normally, if you tow it yourself, the insurance company won't get to it until they're ready. It's if not it goes full to it. Huh? It's not full coverage. They'll still have to look. They'll Are still. You Holy shit. So, is it going to cost me? A lot of money. Well, if I can find out who it is, uh -huh. then I'm gonna more than likely insurance will go after him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You gonna call tow truck? Or can we just pull it to the house? I've already called Did for you? a tow truck. Yeah. Nine nine dispatch. Any forty nine on that forty six? Because if we have to, they don't need a cop. 99 Fields is in route. All right, they're already on route. So, um, more than likely, Larry will tow it to their house for them. Or he can go to the yard, either way. Probably just have him tow it this yeah. way. Yeah. So, your husband lied to me. He said he was wearing a seatbelt. He wasn't. So, he's going to be receiving a citation for that. And... And then I am going to look for the other guy. I told him, um, because he said somebody got out and was like, sorry, Tony, you know, sorry, and then they took off. So obviously whoever this was knows who he is. So if y'all get a phone call later saying, hey, sorry, I didn't mean to cause you to wreck or, you know, whatever the case they say, let me know, and then we'll go from there. So there you have it. As a result of being a victim of a hit and run, the driver was given a ticket for not wearing a seatbelt despite telling the deputy that he was. This is the same deputy that arrived to the scene not wearing a seatbelt. It's also the same deputy that broke two side mirrors for no reason because he was standing in the middle of the road, which is also the same deputy who still happens to be employed by the Torrance County Sheriff's Department despite a complaint on him being filed by one of the victims in this incident. If this video shows us anything, it's that Chad Whitson is clearly too incompetent to perform his job of effectively, and until things like this stop happening altogether, the argument that police are here to serve and protect us continues to lose validity, and this is an example of why people feel that they can no longer trust their local police agencies. Especially when the example is clearly visible on video, yet there's still no accountability on the department's behalf. This is why we the people must continue to hold our local police officers accountable when they feel that they are above the law. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, and again, do me a favor and go subscribe to Small Town Audit 48 for further updates. Dates. As always, thank you for tuning in to San Joaquin Audits, and I'll be back with another video soon. Gotta watch em. We know the way that you cop it. We don't give no option. Camera go shoot in nine minutes. Keep that rolling, no stopping. They don't know now, we're gonna teach them everything. By my country, everything. This
my country every day. False conviction, you got a power addiction. We on the road, me and the bros, telling the story so everyone know. Send them to hell, little Nikki. Sam Joaquin, shout out the crew. We gon' show the world don't miss it. My whole team on the mission. My eyes wide open, I see everything you doing. Check the law. I know my rights like I passed the bar. I'ma make sure you know yours and all. Home of the brave, free us all. Can't do it all and we stand and talk. Only real criminals behind bars. Only real criminals behind bars. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Officer. Why won't pull me over?